Hey guys, so this will be the second video that covers the chromosomes, genes, and protein section of the syllabus, and this will be a little bit short because most of this section has already been covered in the first part, i.e. the first video I've made for this section. So if you haven't checked that out, um, feel free to do that. I'll leave a link below and I'll get straight on with this video. There are two types of nuclei that you need to be aware of, and the first type is a haploid nucleus, and the second type is a diploid nucleus. And in a haploid nucleus, there is a single set of chromosomes that are all unpaired. This means that each type of chromosome exists as a lone chromosome. And you can see clearly here when you contrast with the diploid nucleus, which contains two sets of chromosomes, and each type of chromosome is paired up. So yeah, I think the contrast is pretty straightforward. So an example of a haploid cell would be a gamete, for example, like a sperm cell and uh, an ovum, or in other words, an egg cell in a female. And an example of a diploid cell would be any other normal body cell, for example, like your skin cells or your liver cells. So yeah, in humans, in our diploid cells, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so 23 of these things, and this means that we have 46 single chromosomes if you just do the math. The next thing we need to be aware of is the inheritance of sex in humans. Upon fusion of two gametes, or fusion of like an ovum and a sperm, if both the ovum and the sperm cell contains an X chromosome in them, then this will result in a zygote that has two X chromosomes, and this means the zygote and consequently the baby will be a female. However, if upon fertilization one of the gametes contains a Y chromosome, then this will result in the zygote and the baby to be male. And you can infer here that uh, because the male will have an X and an Y chromosome, this means that their gamete or their sperm will contain either a Y or an X chromosome. It is a different case in females because females have two X chromosomes in them, so then their gametes will always contain an X chromosome. And gathering facts from both of those things, we conclude that the sex of a baby is determined by the chromosome in the gamete of the male. Because if the sperm that fuses with the ovum contains a Y chromosome, then the baby will be male. However, if that sperm contains an X chromosome, then the baby will be female. And while we're here, just to like avoid any confusion at all, uh, we call them X chromosomes because that's just what we call them, but that's not really like supposed to reflect on their shapes in case you were confused because these are kind of shaped like X letters as well. And in fact, uh, pairs of chromosomes don't actually look that much like the letter X in real life. So yeah, uh, it's just called X. It, it has nothing to do with shapes or anything. So now I want to just summarize the video up together. Uh, so a haploid nucleus has one set of unpaired chromosomes. And an example of a haploid cell would be a sperm cell. A diploid nucleus contains two sets of chromosomes, and each type of chromosome comes in a pair. An example of a diploid cell would be a normal body cell, like a liver cell. In humans, in our diploid cells, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, or 46 chromosomes in total. Talking about sex inheritance, the fusion of two gametes that both contain X chromosomes will form a female zygote and therefore a female baby. The fusion of two gametes and one of them contains the Y chromosome, and this is always the sperm, the sperm can either contain Y or X, and this will form a male zygote. Thank you so much for watching, again I know this is quite a short video. However, I still hope that you have learned something from this, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe for more.